around this time, due to the, the light holder asks Captain Smith, they should start getting the women and children into boats. Well, Captain, uh, well, Captain Smith says, women and children first. However, Lightholder, due to the loud steam noise, misinterprets this as women and children only. Around about this time, while well, the lifeboats are now being swung out, well, Jack Phillips and Harold Bride. Send out May they call and the Titanic sing well that they're in that they're they're sinking. Well, several ships will later receive a call and start coming to assist. Notable examples being the Carpathia and the Olympic. Well, due to the loud steam noise, communication between Titanic and other ships is quite difficult. Well, it's around at this time the E deck portals are half submerged. Or to go under. It's around about for this time. Well, Titanic sinking starts to slow. This will actually give some passengers the sense of calm and the illusion that they'll stay afloat, as sinking slows down only reaching the nameplate by 1.40 a.m. Well, passengers start to board boat 7. Notable survivor there being Dorothy Gibson, who is actually the Titanic's first star in the first film after the disaster. And, well, they, well, they, start to row from the Titanic. We start to well the passengers start to board. The water continues to flood below. The 
the Carpegi replies to Jack Phillips' call saying that they, that Cape Race, which is a radio station in Canada, has a bunch of messages waiting for them. They are surprised when They are surprised when they receive a reply from Titanic saying telling them to come quick that they struck an iceberg or in danger. Or Carpegi asks if they want their captain if they should contact their captain. The radio operator of Titanic say yes please. The Carpegi or the Captain Cotton, well, the, sorry, the Harold Cotton, the radio operator of Carpathia, runs to the captain's cabin, well, runs to some officers and tells them what's going on. They don't believe him and tell him that they're someone's playing a joke on him. He then afterwards runs to the captain's cabin. The captain yells at him for coming in without docking. And Cotton shows him the message. Well, Captain Arthur Rossman orders full speed to be put on the Titanic's wreck. The Titanic. Well, on boat 7, which is being loaded, to round about this time, Murdoch. However, unlike Light Order allows for men to go on board the once of women and children in the area have gotten aboard the boat. Since he knew the order of women and children first, instead of women and children only, he would allow men to board the boats as well. Right over time, boat seven is now loaded with 28 occupants. Well, let's say. Well, Harold Bride then informs the captain about their reply by Carpathia. The captain, well, Carpathia told them they would be with them in four hours. Well, the captain is horrified though. It, uh, well, the captain, though, knows that Titanic won't be able to survive for that long. They also notice that they, well, they start to consider, like, trying to signal the ship on the horizon. Well, distress rockets are now prepped to be fired off in the horizon to signal the to signal the other ship.
round about this time, Titanic starboard list has now been almost eliminated. But it's actually started the list very slightly to port. The port list would later ease slightly during the later though. However, the port list only a few degrees that later eases during boat sixes lowering, which light holder notices. Well, boat five starts to be loaded. Well, the owner of Titanic Bruce's may start to get lowering and try and get people in. Well, oh, Bruce's main is lowering. Well, Officer Low sees him and yells at him, telling him not to interfere what he's doing. Boats, boat. Five is now also being prepared for lowering. To round about this time as well, a someone a steward on board hears Benjamin Dubinine who say that what they hear the Strauss couple argue. Well, Ida Strauss refuses to be separated from her husband, Isidore Strauss. Well, Isidore Strauss be offered a place in the boat, but isn't, but decides not to go in because there's others that should, that he thinks should go in. Well, the last time, well, Ida and Isidore Strauss are last seen holding hands later in the sinking.